How's it going? Hey man, what's up? Hey. Uh, what's your ideology? What's my ideology? Um, that's tough. I guess kind of uh, left of center. Oh shit! Let's fucking go. I'm right of center. Oh, awesome! <laughs> don't don't punch me in the face. I'm so weak. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm I'm a soy boy. Please. So yeah, I, I drink soy too. Man, it's fine. I'm vegan. I'm vegan too. Base? Are you? Uh, what's oh. your religious affiliation? Sorry. Uh, what's your religion? My 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 veganism isn't really tied to any spirituality no. or religion. I'm, I'm okay. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. What's your religion in general? Oh, see, I I don't really. You know, I guess I was raised Catholic, but I haven't been to church in over a year. I'm an atheist as well. Hmm. Yeah. I, it feels like we agree on a lot of stuff more than we would disagree. See, I don't want to punch you anymore. I just can't. I just. Can't. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm, I'm so weak. I'm 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 B I'm B twelve deficient. Damn, bro. Um, be like it. I'm joking around. <laughs> so, so what? What kind of? You sound uh, like you have a bit of an accent. Which which country are you from? Yes, I'm from Croatia. Mm. What does it mean to be right of? Right of center in Croatia. In Croatia, not much. We have two parties, which are actually one party, and they are mm. basically uh, authoritarian right. So yeah, it doesn't mean anything to hear. There's no real meaning to anything. But I guess that's how it's in most places uh, often, except on the internet. You know, on the internet you have all these well-defined ideological extremes, which is yeah. nice. It, it seems like it seems like only the extremes exist on the internet now. Oh yeah, they, they haven't had much time to flourish yet in in the real world. But we'll give it a couple decades and see how we'll it all we'll get how there, it all bro. scrambles. So, so when you're center right, are are you looking? Because I assume you don't have much control over policy in Croatia. Um, yeah. Are you talking about like like uh, cultural? uh right or I'm, or like policy I'm, like, I'm culturally far left i'm economically far right oh that's interesting mm. okay so so kind of like libertarian in that sense yeah. mm. what what intrigues you about libertarianism over uh more defined uh market mm, I don't know. i'm curious what you, what defined means to you by the way or just kind of like um, the kind of market that we, the, the free market that we have right now, which is kind of, you know, taxed and uh, regulated and such. Yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of things. For example, um, I see a lot of medicine that's really cheap that could be imported from uh, ch places like China, from pl websites like Alibaba, where consumers could coordinate with, with producers directly with no hundreds of middlemen, you know, taxing and co um, throwing them in cages for uh, buying cures. I see a lot of uh, market mechanisms uh, taking place in uh, the field of judicature recently, especially with uh, Alibaba, eBay and places like that, where consumers can leave feedback and uh, these pl private platforms act as basically like courts so i think we can I, well I we still we, we still have like ebay but you're talking about like medicine yeah i just mean i uh, we should uh, you know medicine is all kinds are regulated all kinds are ba banned all kinds are monopolized for example in america insulin is hundreds of dollars whereas if you remove tariffs and uh, laws you could like uh, buy from uh, places like mexico for pennies yeah right so you're talking about like a global free market would yeah, kind of uh, that's my jam. kind of lower the the price of insulin in itself because we could buy insulin from countries every that drug, every drug is on Alibaba for pennies. Okay, go on Alibaba right now and look up oxytocin, look up toxicillin, look up. Uh, sorry, I messed up the first name. That, that that's that's something else. Uh, no, 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 no. I get I get what you mean. So Everything so is you so fucking cheap, man. It's amazing. You you run on an Alibaba form of government. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, basically with people like uh, John McAfee, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, uh, that Russian guy, you know, they, when they do leave one uh, territorial monopoly and go to another, uh, they basically unsubscribe from one judicature service and subscribe to another. That's basically the market. And this has forced the governments to be more transparent, more competitive, more. They, they compete for... Uh, 
citizens like uh, companies to compete for consumers. So they, they're forced to be more transparent, fair, competitive, humane, and diplomatic with one another. And yeah, when, when consumers have a choice, instead of uh, having a monopoly on the judicature system, I think we could really you know, boost this mechani liberalization mechanism to the extreme. As we have seen it uh, with the air travel industry, all countries have have it, an explosion with the liberalization as people have been free to move around from bad places to good places. Yeah. So kind of so kind of free market in diplomacy and kind of uh, the the countries are competing for. You said the countries are competing for citizens like yeah, companies with. Right now, uh, the citizen is not the consumer of judicature. Right now, the state is the consumer of judicature. We are the product, okay? We are the service that they are buying, uh, obedient public. So, so you, so it's kind of an advocacy of like a separate free market of different states. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess it's kind of anarcho-capitalism. That's how. That's somehow sometimes how I uh, define myself. Mm. Like my, governments my, no longer my, acting like uh, viol violently enforced territorial monopolies, and uh, more like uh, private companies offering uh, protection services and uh, rights enforcement services, something like that. So you would want the private companies to offer? Uh, okay, so so who would hold the private companies accountable in that sense? Uh, the consumers basically uh, people would be free to choose free to move free to uh, cancel subscriptions and yeah they would uh, the, instead of having a monopoly decide uh, what how things are run uh, the the consumers would decide the consumers would have the choice so okay because my problem with that is that we have different choices that consumers really aren't allowed to uh move around in right now uh, could you uh give me an example like so so what choices would the consumer be making in the anarcho capitalist uh model well all of them um what laws would there be what the, how they would be enforced and what would be the punishments uh... right so so how would the so these laws they would like subscribe into what, what are you talking about with the laws because we have democracy yeah, but I don't, I don't think that it's real. Dem I don't think that it's even democracy, okay? No, uh, first, I'm not really a fan of democracy, and also I don't think that we have democracy. I think that it's an illusion of... Because, for example, everyone thinks we should be legal. In Croatia and in America, pretty much more more than 50% agree. But this will never be ch changed this easily. It's to, it's taking forever to change this. Because we have no, cho we have no real say in uh, how the law is treated. All kinds of uh, nonsensical laws are always enforced, and uh, yeah, yeah, basically, the current uh, system of the judicature industry functions as this territorial monopoly where, where the people in power can basically choose who they want to assassinate. You can see people like Duncan Lamp, the Vapor Siege, the Ruby Regional, people are being ass assassinated by this uh, territorial monopoly. And uh, we, we have no say in what happens. When they want someone dead, when they want someone in a cage, it, 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 it always happens. Yeah. So your idea is uh, anarcho-capitalism so citizens can vote with their dollar? Yeah, basically. Hmm. I think that every time we've seen a state-run institution, um, that it's always having these public choice issues, where uh, the people who are managing it are always incentivized to fo concentrate the benefits and to disperse the costs in a way that uh, the consumers we are not the consumers actually but yeah in the way that the citizens have no way of saying because that this is it's not that they are evil these are simply their incentives how they are set up to to want to think things to happen but when you have uh, private markets things always happen how consumers want them we basically started uh, have, speaking out about all these uh, issues about treating animals and then there was an explosion in free-range farming then there was an explosion in vegan products and now they are almost as cheap as uh, regular products you know well, well the yeah and i guess the, the only problem with that is that we're subsidizing the agricultural industry so less state control on that would uh would definitely solve that problem mm -hmm. in in meat being so cheap um, true, true. Yeah, you know, the, so the state would stop subsidizing things like like meat, um, but also investors would start subsidizing things 
uh, just to promote their business and get a return on their capital. So they would make certain businesses cheaper until they corner the market and then uh, and then raise prices now that they have a monopoly. And that's what I'm concerned about. Okay, that's, yeah, that's, uh, okay, you should watch uh, MIT Open Course lecture about uh, oligopolis uh, because there's, there's, it's a two-part two part lecture. Um, Basically, no monopolies in a free in a free market with no government regulations have been able to maintain themselves. There's like one example. Okay, it's something like some diamond industry or something, but it's it's also a losing steam. But every example basically fell apart. Uh, and yeah, you know, there there's something called the game theory. Okay, and you're always better off cheating. You're always better off breaking the deal. And that's why cartels always break up without territorial enforcement of monopolies, yeah. Uh, what's the first thing you said? Uh, well, my concern was, uh, instead of, um, instead of the government subsidizing, like, like we're talking about vegan products, instead of the government subsidizing the agricultural industry, uh big money investors would start subsidizing companies uh so that they can make a return on their profits until they become a monopoly okay i, I think this is a big confusion about how investments in companies work because uh investors follow follow the money and in, in, they, they don't decide where the money goes they follow where the money goes okay they, they follow where there is money to be made so if consumers want something that's what needs to be invested in uh, basically any companies that gets a bunch of investors but has no working product it falls apart you can see like things like solar roadways how the hyperloop all of these nonsense uh, pseudo-scientific uh, stupid ideas they fall apart okay and people who are wasting money on these things they lose their ability to run the economy they, they lose their ability to manage resources and you know that's this is how we fix uh, this uh, mismanagement of resources uh, or an organization of production is by having the people who are good at increasing social utility be rewarded for it and the people who are bad they get you know they get told fuck it do something else you're not good at this you're you're a dumb you're a dumb okay Okay, so so another concern that I would have is um, that with all of these businesses making an unimpeded uh, amount of money and, and not being regulated, um, that there would kind of just be this absolute pillaging of the earth and its resources, because um, there really isn't anybody to stop them of just like harvesting every resource of the earth and destroying it. Um. They aren't destroying, okay, they don't take a resource and destroy it and create and pull money mag magically out of it. They destroy them in the sense that they move them in a place that that we want them to be, okay? Everyone talks about all this uh, self-sufficient, uh, environmentally friendly talk, but no, everyone talks the talk, but no one wants to walk the walk. And this is what we see in the markets. This is why we still have all these things that we have. I I bought a solar panel. I went off grid. Uh, okay, I'm, I I built an off grid underground bunker. It's underground for geothermal equ equilibrium, so that I minimize minimize the electrical expense for uh, temperature control. Mm. And you know, I'm I'm all about this. But it looks like no one else is because this technology. Okay, it it cost me less than two months of minimum wage to build all these things. I found some, my, my dad gave me a few logs, I took a shovel, I dig for a bit, I called, a, I hired a, you know, JCB to help me dig this thing, for basically, for a couple hundred bucks, and I just, I just started building, I built this thing, you know, but no one else wants to live like this, we, we could, if everyone wanted to, but everyone wants to rely on these resources that pollute the environment, everyone is like this. Well, That's the first the thing would, about us humans. Right. Well, 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 the first thing I would say is that um, I don't know how much land costs in Croatia, but it, uh, every piece of land in America has been completely privatized uh, and is bought and sold. Uh, there is no way. Most of the land is owned by the government, is it not? The, the Bureau of Land Management and stuff, things like that. Most of the land has been bought by private companies. Uh, a lot of it has been bought by uh, it, a lot of the homes have been bought by private companies. Mm -hmm. um, so, so if I wanted to, right, I live in California. All of the land is being used right now, except for you know the desert, which is pretty much unlivable uh, for humans at least. 
um the the problem with me building like a geothermal bunker ge geothermal bunker is that there's really no place to do it for me um and you're pointing out a perfectly good uh, problem with thermodynamics not with economics with laws of thermodynamics we have a lot of people who want to live in a uh, one area because it's easier to live there than in a desert yeah and it's more there's more stuff people there, there's most more stuff here there's more people here there's more activity more resources concentrated here and if we want to keep this up we have to waste uh, uh we have to use a lot of coal a lot of a lot of oil and things like that yeah that's a valid concern but i don't think that we can fix it with different systems as far as i'm aware i think, think that these are thermodynamic problems until, unless that. people want to move uh, uh, start moving into places like croatia and places with lots of green land then then you know maybe and then also um right so like you and i can understand the concerns of like having to uh practice what we preach in in uh environmental issues that's why i went vegan in the first place was because yeah. of that um uh but but the problem is uh with a lot of these people is that they're so like advertised to shit like constant advertising and telling them you know what your life is supposed to look like what you're supposed to eat what you're supposed to do what you're supposed to drive where you're supposed to live that i feel like they wouldn't ever make choices that doesn't economically benefit some company or or, or some institution mm-hmm so with the with the anarcho-capitalist system uh another concern that i would have is um just unhinged advertising being able to control a massive population of people um and and th and it's already a problem now you know just the the, the whole advertising and, and kind of controlling i i don't want to say like mind control or whatever but um I, I just don't know because a lot of money is made off of living lifestyles that destroy the environment, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, how would you propose a, a solution to that? You, you, you bring up a lot of good points, so I, I want to get all my information yeah. from you now. Uh, basically, I think there should be a reform in the education system. Uh, maybe some of the things you bring out are valid points that are a real challenge for anarcho-capitalism and we should s somehow try to have the state have this process smoothed out by in enforcing an education system that basically teaches people to uh, be more cons teaches this important stuff instead of turning them to into computers and uh, slaves for uh, So the, the machine, education you know? system, would the education system also be privatized or are you saying that would be yes, the job of the state? Ultimately everything would be voluntary and privatized, yeah so so the schooling system being privatized um would accept investors into the school because it is a private company uh then that opens the room for 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 lobbyists investors and uh people from these private companies who don't want people to be taught or their children to be taught that uh there are environmental concerns and the only way uh to stop it is by uh disassociating yourself with consumerism which it feels like disassociating yourself from consumerism is pretty much the way to uh, fix any environmental problems that we have right now. But they're not going to teach that, and they're obviously not going to teach that under a private uh, school. Uh, uh, I think that's the way the, the, the modern education system is already designed. And I think that if you look at how uh, incentives work for governments, uh, they, they already are in completely influenced by private companies. And they completely, whatever is profitable, whatever, uh, you know, they, they always try to pull uh, money from the government for uh, all kinds of nonsense. And I think if, if we, they, I don't think there's any other way. I, I think it has to be us and we have to, we have to work hard to achieve this and i don't think there's any magical system that will fix these things but we already have private education let me ask you what's the last skill you learned what is the last skill that i learned yeah the last useful skill that you learned what was it um or maybe one of the last few um I... a new language or how to how to do something uh, or how to make a website how to you know how to, to use a software to make music how to maybe anything um well I'm, I'm learning spanish on my phone right now mm -hmm. uh how did you how did you do that 
I, I'm, I'm running it through Duolingo, which is a private company. Yeah, me too. I use it, I use the Japanese on Duolingo. It's pretty cool. And yeah, I I really like it. Yeah, but we have we say that they, there's this uh, you know there's this evil companies that will brainwash us into being consumers. But in the extent that we have seen this privatization, it has been an explosion of. Uh, uh, new uh, wisdom and uh, experience and uh, new worldviews it, it's always been companies trying to chase new ideas and always trying to be the first ones to uh, present uh, you know fresh uh, fresh systems fresh environments it's there's so much stuff on youtube and you know who is paying for this like if you see mr beast give, giving away millions of dollars to hungry people to homeless people to all kinds of uh, to sick people to hospitals to schools who is paying for that it's private companies who are giving him the ad money. I think, and I think that's beautiful, you know. And right, just... I mean, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to put Mr. Beast as like the the pillar of uh, privatization because that's like one guy. Uh, but, but I get, I get where you're coming at with um, like the education thing, free education, and and uh, YouTube education. Like Stanford has a bunch of courses online mm -hmm. now, um, but while there is people like us who, who could wield that that new influx of free information uh or even some form of paid information um to, to learn and to better ourselves there all, there's also you know 10 more people who are like drinking three different kinds of sodas and like buying a new car every two years and uh like all this bullshit that they don't need uh I would I would argue that 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 people like us who really try to utilize um, private companies and what they offer us the most uh, are much fewer than uh, the people who don't quite understand that and are kind of caught in a consumer cycle that's damaging to them. Mm -hmm. I guess the way I see that we are stuck in this way. Um shifting the mindset of the people is to the extent that it's uh, systematically impossible because i i envisioned a completely different system of education i think i would like open a school for all these practical skills for all these new ideas for all these new uh, types of thinking and i would teach like epistemology economics uh, entrepreneurship self-reliance you know uh, and electrical engineering and i i have a completely different i think i think that i should i could fit a you know what usually people spend uh, years in schools in, into like a few months because it basically boils down to to something that's very easy and i think that if i have success in creating a, you know independent intelligent people that this would catch on and yeah okay now, now now imagine this so you open up your school across the street from you i open up my school uh and i take uh i take everything that uh company a b and c wants me to teach them that will uh put them in their workforce uh or, or whatever they'd like to buy their products or whatever, mm -hmm. I get a shitload of funding, much more than you, which you're teaching very practical mm -hmm. uh, things. Um, and then my school is very highly funded. It looks much nicer. You know, I got a bigger sign. Um, and that's mostly just because I got funding from a bunch of private companies who don't really give a shit about what children are learning. They give a shit about how much money they're making. I think I don't in in. I don't inherently, intrinsically see private companies uh, uh, paying money to, to create uh, new projects, new uh, to create schools, and uh, uh, private companies that make money as a betting. Because I think that private companies, uh, in a in a fair environment, that private companies make money by serving the people. Okay, so I think if if company wants to uh, create a school that teaches courses on how to oh, basically an apprentice apprenticeship courses, yeah, that that would be you know that's fine with me. That's uh, that's another mechanism for uh, getting people into the you know I don't I don't see it feasible reasonable as, as setting it up as a some brainwashing institution. I I don't that that's kind of fantastical to me. I I guess. Uh, yeah but i think I, that people also have this gem, general sense of being fed up with the uh, institution with these uh institutionalized uh you know uh, bureaucratized environments and you know and consumerism i think they should i would i would like open the school that's you know 
it, it looks different it feels different and i think people would really like that that's that's just my view i think a, a lot of people around me always say things like that that schools school should be like they used to be in the times of greek philosophers just people walking in the park and you know saying saying to teaching each other things about that are important about and talking about life really, and I stuff I would agree with that too. I guess I just find that idea fantastical mm -hmm. of um, a school that, that that could possibly manage all that. Um, and then, you know, if this is like a high school, then you have to add tuition because it is a private school. Um, so, so now you're competing for tuition with other schools um, and, and you're creating this kind of like new idea that that i feel like I, I i do appreciate um a public schooling that that people don't have to pay for and uh i i appreciate public institutions like that and libraries which have been around much longer than duolingo that have been educating people uh much more than i feel like uh any private business has and other than like universities for free I, I support. See that? Pra, pra, I support. I support pub, public institutions, especially when they arise, uh, you know, through voluntary uh, environments. Right. Yeah. I. I and maybe I. I guess the the sense that we both get is that uh, people have very little control over the decisions that they make right now. I. I. I don't know if I would say that. I think. And I guess it depends on. I, I guess we could end up in in the free will debate if we keep uh, going down this rabbit hole because I think I think people still have a high degree of choice. I think that they just choose not to. I think they just wanna. I when it comes down to it, I think people just wanna go to work, you know, then go to a bar, have a beer, then go home, eat something, you know, uh, and hang out with their family and fall asleep and repeat everything the next day. I don't think it. I don't think they really feel like you know i i think it's it's genuinely for some people that's genuinely their choice that's how i see it well well i i the way that i see it is that there's really no way to break that loop or know that there's anything outside of that because you know they can't quit their job because that's their only source of money in some countries that's the only way they're getting their health care um they have a family that they have to go back to that they obviously have to feed. Uh, and the only other thing that they can afford is to go to a bar. And that's just like an activity that a lot of people do around the world. Um, if this person had the time to go to another country or uh, and experience a different culture or uh, explore their own country or have some time to read or do anything, uh, then I feel like they could break that cycle of work, bar, family, sleep, well, whatever. Um, uh, when's the last time you opened up Instagram and saw people's stories? I don't really look at Instagram. Well, I have an Instagram and I have a lot of people from high school, from middle school, a lot of friends and acquaintances. And almost every single day I see someone traveling to a different country. Though I think we live in this era of prosperity and mobility that's unprecedented i think that people are more able to experience different cultures and different things more than ever so yeah i i think it's i think we are good on that part mm. so, so yeah well yeah, and these are poor bring... people from croatia these are you know these are third world plebs and, you know <laughs> just <laughs> yeah it's crazy yeah. Well, you you bring up a lot of good points. I'm I'm glad you could educate me on some of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you bring a lot of good challenges. Uh, I, I yeah, I, I often talk about these topics, and uh, yeah, it's it's hard to get people to really challenge me. They usually just skip me. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, well, well. I I really like I I like listening to actual solutions on things like what you're giving, um, instead of just like kind of like blunt force statements. But I'm gonna look at that. Uh, MIT open course that you sent me. Yeah, and it's just um, a, it's just a lecture that explains how uh, how how the troubles that oligopolies tend to have and troubles that cartels tend to have in uh, taking place. But yeah, if if you want if you want to see more about capitalism, you can see David Friedman uh, Oxford Union talk on YouTube. I think it's called. 
it's I think it's really good. I think it's enjoyable. It's he presents it in a in a really enjoyable way and he explains public choice theory which is basically a field of economics that studies how incentives of politicians work and it's really mind-blowing it has huge consequences about medical med medicine and it explains how government policies basically killed a lot of people it's it's insane it's it's i think it's really valuable yeah okay well I'll check it out thanks so much for talking hey, i'm sorry I'm also, I'm also a youtuber can i can i put this on youtube if not i can delete oh. it it's fine you know it's cool no no, no 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 plug it don't worry thank you man okay thanks so much all right have a good one peace